Welcome back to the channel. I've got a 22 horsepower VTEC here, Briggs and Stratton, and you can see the governor shaft seal here is leaking oil. I'll show you how to fix that. The motor out. <laughs> You'd have to take the motor out to uh, change the seal. You can do it right on the motor. But anyway, you just uh, loosen this off here. And then I'm gonna take this off here. You're gonna have to pop off your choke lever here, and then there's two springs here. I'm gonna pop this off here. There we go. Time to clean that. Ten minutes later. I'm gonna take a pick here. I'm just trying to get it out. Grab the seal, stick it in there, and raise it up. I'm trying to heat it up here. Here's a seal number from Briggs & Stratton, or this is the John Deere uh, part number right there. I'm going to inspect my hole here, make sure I didn't put any grooves in it here. Just a little bit of the sealant, gasket sealant on the outside. Just, just a 515 Loctite flexible seal. And put a little bit of oil on the shaft, or I'm just going to put uh, a little bit of assembly lube here. So the, sh the sh seal goes one way, goes like that, the lip on the outside. So I'm just going to put uh, this assembly lube or oil, move it around in the center. I'm going to push it over the shaft here, nice and gentle. Tap it down here, just a little bit more here. Really gentle here with my screwdriver. So the seal's just slightly down off that edge right there, so that's perfect. Spring back here. Put this over the governor shaft. Snug this up a little tiny bit, not much. Okay. You see the governor shaft turn back and forth? It's going to go all the way clockwise and throttle wide open counterclockwise. So you need that way and that way, and then you tighten this up. All right. All right, if you like this video, press thumbs up below, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.